today at Darlington. They travel to Plymouth with the manager who knows about being a winner both on the field and in the pop charts. <laughs> Now, a few years on at 39, Cyril Knowles is getting his first taste of league management. In the last five months, he's had the harsh fact of the job thrust in his face. The biggest problem I've found is, is actually getting players to come up here. That's been my... I've found the biggest problem is, is... When I first came in, I was never off the phone, you know, trying to get players to come, and, and players weren't interested, because they think Darlington's the end of the world. Alongside him is John Craggs, a footballing favourite in the North East. He's also recruited Roger Davis, who had some brilliant and bizarre moments for Derby County, including a miss he'll never be allowed to forget. And onside, the linesman has kept his flag down. Now here's the chance for Roger Davis. He's gone past. Oh, and what a miss! That, unquestionably, is the miss of the season. Half out by England, Gemmell striking it, and Derby feel they should have a penalty. Play goes on, McFarlane. David! Crowd whistling, calling for the referee to blow the final whistle, but David! Evan Hector with the corner. And Jennings hesitated, David! A quite remarkable hat trick! I can almost hear a lot of people saying, well, what is Roger Davis doing playing at Darlington? Uh, yes, mainly our crowd. <laughs> uh, now, I came back from America. Uh, I did enough out there with the things happened and caused me to come back home. And uh, I just wanted to play a few more years. You know, nobody gets any younger. But I still enjoy playing the game. I enjoy the training. And, you know, I enjoy all aspects of the game. And still was kind enough to come up with the offer uh, of letting me play again in English football. And, uh, and I accepted, and I'm really enjoying it here. Fourth division they might be, counting every penny, but today the Quakers are travelling in style. They're flying away from the snow to save the pain of the thousand-mile round trip to Plymouth. Beatham's a far cry from Spurs and the glory days at White Hart Lane. Cyril Knowles having to adjust every day, but he's still sure about... Darlington chartered a plane for their long trip to Plymouth, and thanks to Kevin Todd, the Quakers got off to a flying start after 35 minutes. But five minutes later, Plymouth were level. A free kick from Hodges was headed on by Staniforth, for defender John Uzzell to power the ball past Darlington keeper Fred Barber. It was still one all with nine minutes left, but Darlington's hopes of a replay were shattered by this fierce drive from Gordon Staniford. It was a sad end to Darlington's first fourth-round tie in 26 years. To the side right from the start, with Mark Taylor's persistence forcing Barber to scramble this shot away. In an aggressive first half, the Quakers too had their chances. Mitch Cook's run and cross found Carl Airy, but his effort bounced off the bar. It was Les Mutley, though, who swung the game partly through his way from Roy Hogan's pass to make it 1-0 after 38 minutes. They could have gone further ahead soon after if Barry Wardrobe had made better use of this chance, but he failed to hit the target. Local pride kept the match temperature positively Mediterranean. When John Hanna tried to dismantle Hogan and earned a booking, Cyril Knowles bravely decided to pull him out of the action himself before the referee did. In the second half, Darlington took control, leaving Paul to appreciate the experience and the legs of new keeper Alan Stevenson. Stevenson was always busy, but Paul's spirited resistance made sure that half chances remained.